Tattoos are cool, right? They're more than fashion. They become like a roadmap to your life with its ups and downs, including your ex's name on your chest. They become part of you, literally. But tattoos are much more than just painting by numbers over the skin. It all starts with the needle, which traveling at speeds of two strokes per second make its way through the epidermis, eliminating everything in its path. It's like a nano bulldozer. Fortunately, this layer, the skin's outermost, is made up of cells that rise upwards and eventually die off, becoming dust. They self-sacrifice for you. Heroes! This layer is constantly renewed, which is why we can't leave the ink here. It would disappear in minutes, along with your money. The living part of your skin, the dermis, starts one millimeter deep. There are nerves and cells that tell your body that security has been breached through pain and other signals. Ouch! You probably went to a qualified tattoo artist, Right? But even then, 0.01% of bacteria will reach your dermis. It's because you can't 100% sterilize anything. Boo! But this is good, as it reveals you possess a body that is faithful and attentive to your needs, unlike your ex, whom you've immortalized on your chest. Your body swiftly kicks into defense mode, protecting itself from this invader. When the cells reach the zone, they find a mess of dead cells, bacteria, blood, and other fluids. And between them, the tattoo ink, just like when you throw a party. However, particles are different. If we're the size of an immune cell, the molecules of ink would appear the size of a cat or even a building. Your immune cells will try to dissolve ink with acid, but nothing will happen. This will be confusing to the cells that, not knowing what to do, will encapsulate the ink so that it does not wander around the entire body. But some modern researchers are not so sure that the ink stays in place. They analyzed people with tattoos and found that they had traces of the same color far away in the body. However, the amounts of ink found are minimal. And this does not help to say if the tattoos are bad. That's a relief. Tattoos are permanent. Maybe this is why many people choose not to ink a random word from a Chinese menu. You can remove them with a laser, but, you know, time and money. Laser beams annihilate ink together with the cells it is inside. But do you remember our trusty immune system? It rebuilds everything anew again and again. So you would need to repeat your mass destruction for up to 10 times. But there are some brave people who, on the contrary, want to tattoo their entire skin. This is the case of the Black Alien Project. Anthony Lofredo, a 35-year-old Frenchman who in the last decade has modified his body by filling himself with tattoos and had even removed part of his ears and some fingers. Now that's cosplay. He's stopped the transformation into an alien, but he continues to tattoo all of his skin black. The future of tattoos looks promising. New inks are being developed that disappear over time. Again, like your poor ex, who's been our best example to explain tattoos today. On the medical side, the idea is to create tattoos that change color depending on blood pressure or the level of glucose in the blood. Developers are working on interactive tattoos that respond to apps. Imagine having a tattoo that changes color when your crush is online. We could take the cringe to another level, under the skin. Soon, we'll be able to fulfill the dream of having our Apple Watch tattooed on our arms so that we're never late, like it would help.